what's going on everybody welcome back to another episode we're at prehistoric pets tonight uh we're gonna be playing with some big snakes so stick around Everybody, we're in the back room here at Prehistoric Pet. Um, this place is pretty awesome. If you guys uh, never came out here, uh, make sure to come out here and visit. Um, they're going to be doing uh, kind of like an open house thing tonight. Uh, they're going to be bringing out a bunch of the big snakes, so we're going to get to play with them. Uh, so we're just kind of cruising around here, back in the back, um, in the back room, checking out the animals. Got my niece right here with me. We're checking out the animals, but check this out. This is one of the rhino iguanas that they have over here. Red tail boa. So many cool um, animals that they have out here. Some bearded dragons. If you're into reptiles, this is a must place to stop by and check it out. I've been here a couple times. I brought my daughter when she was only a year old. But, big old snake. Madagascar grand boa. We got the little rhino iguana right here just chilling. Kind of worn out for the day. Got all kinds of monitors. <laughs> How's that for color? <laughs> I think it was sunfire, but it has no sunfire in it. What's that? Yeah, it doesn't bite. It's a problem. Uh, as soon as somebody shows up, that I can help you. All right, guys. So we're in the back room. So uh, this is kind of where the magic happens. We're in the breeding room. Um, all the all his great snakes are back here. Uh, this is kind of a treat just to be back here and check out all these snakes. Uh, so it's pretty awesome. A lot of them are just kind of chilling, but um, this is pretty awesome. Pretty uh, nice treat to come and check out these snakes. Um, I'm pretty glad that he does this. Hey guys, check this out. We're here with the Sulfur Monitor. This guy is so friendly. So used to people. It's kind of rare to see a sulfur monitor this tame. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So used to people. Oh, 
never too tired for some food, huh? Huh? Okay. He's been out, but he hasn't been out. beautiful snake this is this is actually a sun we believe it's a sunfire possible platinum uh, and it's a, a super tiger and this is gonna and it's an anery so it's got all kinds of neat genes it's a beautiful beautiful snake it's got great color great I mean it's just a pretty snake all around a sunfire golden child super tiger mochino and this is uh, one of maybe three in the world we got them all nobody's ever made them but they're really pretty very beautiful snake get all the shit off of it but I got most of it but it's I think this is one of the prettiest retics I mean just the color is just pops and of course there's those black eyes so it's funny they're just a little less black on this one for some reason that other snakes a free look at the pattern on its neck is that beautiful or what this is a Sunfire Annery, and uh, man, they really came out nice. It looks like it has like a rainbow glow to it. Looks like what? A rainbow glow to it. Yeah, they all all of them actually do. Just depends on the lighting and everything. This is one of the ones that Jay loves personally, and you can see why. This is a platinum titanium. It wouldn't be cool without showing you. I see you. I see you. I see you. It's too cheap. See? Oh my gosh, no way. It's so ugly. Does he really have eyes? No, that's why she that's why his name I see you. <laughs> Was born without eyes. About one in a thousand is born without eyes, or one in two thousand, about. Are you gonna fit it again? Huh? Are you gonna fit it again? Uh, yeah, not tonight, probably, but. She eats great, ate great from the beginning. <coughs> this is actually the first one that didn't eat way better than a normal retic without eyes, but now it eats as good as better than anything. These in the world, this is actually a, this is an orange, remember the first snake I came out with? That was an orange ghost stripe titanium? This is a tiger. It's completely different because it has no golden child in it. The golden child makes it solid color, and then the color gets kind of calmed down from the tiger in it. And then so this one, what is behind me? Go ahead, you can tell them what it is. That's a. This is a platinum super tiger phantom. The first one in the world. Will be a price on this. So what's that? Uh, this is like a this is like a fifteen thousand dollar snake. Only one in the so world. if you guys have seen the cow retics, the phantom is <laughs> actually what makes those <laughs> with the orange ghost stripes, which is what he has. <laughs> a lot heavier. I mean, she might be. They look a lot heavier than they are, and they feel heavier just because of how big they are. Now, I believe this was a snake that was in the case last time I was here. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Let's go a little bit more around you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Gotta get the full, Here we go. full thing. One more physician. A little bit more. Albino, motley, probably platinum in there, right? Ready, Laura? Sunfire. Laura. One six seven. Uh, Snapchat. All right, guys, we're all done here at Prehistoric Pets with Jay uh, and his pets. This is pretty awesome. If you guys ever make it, uh, make sure to come down here and check this place out. Uh, you guys have a zoo, right? Yeah, this is the reptile zoo we're actually in right now. Prehistoric Pets is what we started with, and uh, 
We're gradually working on making a nice zoo, and we're, ha we're, we're good, got a good start on it. we got a lot of real neat animals, and this is a prehistoric pets bred, customly made color phase of a reticulated python, so that's kind of what we're known for. This is actually my dream to have some day, but he's living it for me. That's why he keeps saying it. I'm so jealous because he always says it that he's living the dream. He you actually should is. never be jealous. You need to be motivated. <laughs> it's going to get there someday, guys. So <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's what yep. it is all about. So one day, that's this is all that happened with me. I just decided one day that I wanted to do this, and so I haven't given up. And I'm getting old trying, but I'm still getting further than I thought I'd ever get. So I'm cool, and that's why I call it living the dream. All right, guys, so I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to stick around.